this video, we're going to use an NPN bipolar junction transistor and a PNP bipolar junction transistor wired as a push-pull amplifier. And what that means is that we're going to take the voltage we made emitter followers with one or the other that did the same thing, and it takes the voltage coming to the base and outputs that voltage. So all it's really looking at at the base is the voltage. It doesn't rely on a current because we're using a 10 kilo ohm resistor here, it cannot provide much current. It has a lot of uh, resistance, a 10 kilo ohm trim pot, I should say, not a resistor. It's a uh, potentiometer. You got one side to the negative rail, one side to the positive rail. I'm gonna use a virtual ground to uh, split that voltage. So we'll use 10 volts total, and our virtual ground component will take the uh, halfway point there and make that a ground. So we'll have a plus five volt and a minus uh, five volts in relationship to ground. And so in any case, when it's more positive by 0.6 volts or more, then that voltage will be transferred through the NPN bipolar junction transistor to the load and the uh, resistor will be limiting the current, not the uh, signal source. And uh, that LED will light up. When it gets more negative, then the halfway point by 0.6 volts right here, the PNP transistor will start conducting and it will transfer that voltage again with the 0.6 volt uh, diode uh, difference right there. There's ways to improve this, but this is the simple and effective version. So I already have it on the board. And so with uh, this board, I have a second one over here. I usually put the uh, trim pot there. You could also set it down there, power it, and then run up the uh, jumper or uh, however else you need to uh, wire it. But in any case, this is pretty uh, straightforward. So we have the uh, trim pot there, and there you can see I go more positive. The red LED starts lighting up once we get enough voltage and uh, negative once we get enough voltage. Uh, pretty smoothly and uh, pretty close to what we would get with a trim pot that could provide more power. So in any case, the wiper to the trim pot is going to the middle pin, the base, of both the uh, PNP and the NPN bipolar junction transistor. So here's the 2N3904, the NPN type, the 2N3906. They both have the same pin layout, even though their chemistry is opposite. So on the top is the collector, flat side is facing right, by the way. And so top is the collector, middle is the base, bottom is the emitter. and. Uh, so you can see the middle pin, the base. I got a little jumper going to the base of that one. And then the white jumper going to the trim pot wiper. Now we have the uh, emitter down here. They're both connected directly together too. So you can see both bases are connected together. Both emitters are connected together. Now, since they are opposite chemistry transistors, the uh, NPN one right here is going to the positive rail at the collector. Whereas the PNP is going to the negative rail. So again, we're gonna take 10 volts and split it. So in relationship to ground up here, this is going to be negative uh, five volts. But in any case, it's the PNP bipolar junction transistor. The collector needs to be more negative than the emitter. So the emitter is coming to, of uh, both transistors, to the 220 ohm resistor right there to protect the LEDs from five volts. Again, it'll be either five volts more positive or five volts more negative than ground right there. So 220 ohms will do uh, perfectly fine. Not only that, the LEDs drop their regular voltage and the transistors will drop about 0.6 volts. So 220 ohms is uh, plenty fine. Now, I want the red LED, for whatever reason, to light up when the output is more positive than uh, ground. So we have the uh, TLE2426 up here, our virtual ground. We looked at it in earlier videos. Not going to go over that too much, but you can see the longer lead comes to the resistor and that heads towards the transistors. The yeah, shorter lead to the uh, virtual ground up there. And uh, so that will light up when our output here is more positive than our virtual ground, our zero volt reference point. The green LED is wired the other way. The long lead is to our virtual ground, short lead is to the uh, resistor. Long lead anode, short lead cathode. So it will light up when this is more negative than our virtual ground by enough volts. And we already saw that it works. Uh, pretty straightforward right there. So you can see that uh, as I get more negative, the green LED gets brighter 
in proportion. So the uh, resistance rapidly drops when it comes to this trim pot when you get closer to the uh, rails. And so you would see the LEDs just kind of faintly glow and then suddenly come to life towards the end. But uh, because of the uh, push-pull amplifier, we don't see that. So let's look at the actual voltages with an oscilloscope. That'll be more impressive. So now we got the oscilloscope out. It's not measuring anything yet. There you can see we got 10 volts from the uh, supply and uh, on right over there. So there's eight divisions working our way up. Each division is a volt. So if we measure the supply rail directly, it will go off the screen. So it's trying to go up to 10 but it stops at eight. So our voltage is gonna be in relationship to virtual ground, to the uh, ground that we set with the TLE 2426. So I'm gonna connect right there. Now we're gonna go first to the uh, same row as the white jumper right there, which is right up there. That's the voltage that our uh, trim pot is getting. And in fact, I need to uh, move there is the uh, button there. If I push down the dial, we'll get a couple arrows up there that aren't really showing up. It'll move faster right there. So let's press the uh, dial again to get rid of that. But in any case, now that is our halfway point, our zero volts. And so we can actually only get to uh, four as far as the oscilloscope looks. But uh, there you can see once we get uh, past four volts, it goes off the screen. We could make it so that each division is two volts, but you get the main point. So, in any case, there we uh, there we have it. You can see that the line moves as I turn the trim pot. That is the main takeaway. They're they're moving together. So now what we're gonna do is go to let's uh, set it to the uh, halfway point. Now we're gonna to go to the emitters. So that's what the load sees because I have the 220 ohm resistor there. So we're gonna go down to the emitters and uh, we got some noise, but uh, in any case, we'll zoom back. And now what you're gonna notice is that it's not gonna move at all really until a, a big jump up. So I'm going to, uh, let's go a little slower and you're gonna see it kind of sticks even though I keep turning it uh, steadily it sticks for a bit because of those diode drops. So there's about a volt and a half approximately area where the output, the emitters, don't do anything because it's waiting to either go about 0.6 volts above or 0.6 volts below, depending on uh, which transistor you're looking at. So there you can see I'm turning it steadily, but it kind of sticks right there. So in any case, this is the uh, quick video series. So I'm not gonna dwell on this too much anymore. I was still turning it slowly that whole time, but the uh, voltage stuck. So there are ways to improve it though. So we'll look at that in future videos. In any case, hopefully you still enjoy this one. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can, and uh, that would help a ton. So I will see you in the next video.